Sorry, we're talking about someone else. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you are as well, but we're talking about someone else. Sorry, just yeah. in case you Quite were like, right, no, okay. Okay. She's, She can hear us. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear anything. Hi, I'm Gaia Melikian, and I'm very excited to be here with the talented dynamic duo, Kristen Stewart and Nicholas Holt, and the award-winning director-writer, Drake Dormus, from the movie Equals. Congratulations on this beautiful project. Thank you. That was Thank the you. best introduction so that was a, That was a legit oh, I'm so one. I'm so flattered. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> um, you guys, this movie is both very sweet and tragic at the same time, so it's such a dichotomy. And Kristen and Nicholas, you guys gave brilliant performances, not to mention your on-screen chemistry, which is magical. Um, w tell me how you guys captured that chemistry. Um, I think we both were really moved and um, stirred up by the script, and also the idea of working with Drake, who works in this really freeform, fluid, uh, 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 kind of precarious, awesome way. Like, he sort of sets you up to fall into something, rather than, um, requesting that you satisfy his sort of idea. And uh, so we stepped into this like totally ready to go to the darkest places we've been and also allow ourselves to feel physically and emotionally more visible and happy and free than we've ever felt. So like uh, those emotions highlight each other and so we said hello to each other for an hour and then we felt like we knew each other and then we yeah. went, oh went to set and shot scenes. Yeah. It was very beautiful and touching. So I really oh, enjoyed cool. it. Thank you so much. Yeah, Drake. You certainly, with oh, your past projects and currently with this one, you have a flair for creating such poignant scenes and for capturing your audience's heart. It certainly caught mine. What is the secret to your execution? Well, I think it's exactly that, uh, to look at it like it's not an execution, but yet an exploration and this concept that there are no boundaries and that we can take risks and that we can lose ourselves and try to create something real and try to ask ourselves honestly what we've been through in our lives and put that into the film. Well, keep doing what you're doing because it's oh. amazing. I love it. Oh, thank you. Um, now I'm going to put you on the spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> so Nicholas and Kristen, can you guys tell me something unique about his directing technique? The whole, the whole, the whole thing's unique. It's the first time that you don't... First of all, there's the scene, but then there's improvisation around the scene depending on which part of the movie you're in. And then there's, there's not, as Kristen was saying earlier, a request to hit certain beats or do certain things. You, he, a big part of Drake's directing is saying, to be honest, be vulnerable, um, and 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 just explore and be honest. So it's it's that's kind of the main thing about it. And that's like something that every director who's ever made a movie w desires their actors to to want to do. You know what I mean? Like be honest and be vulnerable is obviously like the goal as an actor. But when it's coming from the right person who yeah. believes in you and also believes in this feeling and just believes that you're not having to fabricate it, that it's in you. Right. It just, when it's said truly, and someone actually looks at you and says like, you know what, you can be honest, and you can be vulnerable, and I'm encouraging you to do that. Aww. You're just sort of like, ah! <laughs> like That was like, amazing <laughs> when you said that. Like, I was, it was that's you. Honest, though, <laughs> very eloquent. Know, it's, very yeah. eloquent. It's, and it's oftentimes yeah. <laughs> more interesting what happens before the take starts and after the take ends. Yeah. That, I'm more interested in that, because that, that's what funnels into it. It's not yeah. necessarily on screen, but it right. is on screen because it's it's a part of this this world outside of the camera. It's not about the camera capturing something. It's about exploring a whole universe. Yeah. I mean, so we could be in Legoland for all we sure. care. Like, yeah. it doesn't really <laughs> I mean, matter. We could be like in an iPod. Yeah. We could be in an isolated. Yeah, it's right. like we could be we could be in an orange grove and it could be <laughs> pouring rain. I mean, you know, you don't know. I mean, Michael Bolton's no playing. Right. And it doesn't yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, you, you know, the the analgesic uh, <laughs> situation. You just feel so not. There's no boundaries. <laughs> Fantastic. So what was it about these two, Drake, <laughs> that made you say, that's uh, my couple? Well, I mean, just a uh, big fan of both of their work and, and them as human beings. Uh, you know, oftentimes the, the actors I'm lucky enough to work with, I'm, I'm more interested in them as people than I am as them as actors, you know, and just be, being around the right people. Yeah. And the people that believe in making films the way you want to make them. Um, you know, I just had a hunch that may maybe we could all become friends and make a beautiful little movie together. Mm. So we got together and drank some wine and ate some cheese. And after a couple hours, it was like, okay, this is it. So this is sweet. Right. Oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome. Okay, thank you. So are you.